Elisha. Lembra dosa lehi kete lehi. So today I'm going to minister from the book of Luke. The book of Luke chapter 9 from verse 11. Chapter 9 from verse 11. In the book of Luke chapter 9 verse, verse 11 it says and the people when they knew it followed him that is they followed Jesus and he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them that had need of healing. I welcome you all again this morning. Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you for another day on this healing altar. In the name of Jesus, you are going to be touched afresh in every area that you are trusting God for, that you are believing him for. Take your place, Holy Spirit. Establish the mind of the Father here. Jesus, I hope you all remember that on this platform, the Elisha Maide Ministries International Platform, the whole of this year, the team that the Lord has given to us is supernatural manifestations. Supernatural manifestation at every level, at every level. God is going to be manifesting himself to us in all areas that we are trusting him for supernaturally, in ways that cannot be humanly explained in ways that cannot be humanly comprehended. We will know, and everybody that sees whatever is doing in our lives, that this can only be possible by the hand of God. This can only be possible by the hand of God. This is not by the hand of any man. That is going to be the manifestation of what God will be doing with his people throughout this year, at every level, in our personal lives, in the healings of our bodies, in all that we are trusting him for, concerning career, concerning ministry, concerning family, even nations, concerning nations, God is going to be moving in ways that the earth we know that heaven and earth belongs to the Lord. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that were there before he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. And is the God that rules over the affairs of men. He's going to be ruling in a way that there will be no contention and it will be undeniable that God is still in charge. Hallelujah. So I welcome us all this morning again. And I know that whatsoever body that we have this morning, God is going to comfort somebody. God is going to touch somebody's life. God is going to draw someone out of that abyss of hopelessness, that abyss of darkness. Everywhere that the enemy thinks it is over concerning your life, God is going to show up afresh again this morning in the name of Jesus there shall be supernatural provisions, supernatural provisions in the name of Jesus. Everywhere that you are trusting God for, there is going to be supernatural provisions. Again, let me go back to what I was trying to say, that today and every day, we stand on a scripture, our anchor scripture that we stand on, on this healing meeting is in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 53 verse 5, which says, Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. By his stripe, we are healed. We are healed. We are already healed. It's a done deal. It is something that is done. All we have to keep doing anytime we need healing it is to enforce that which the Lord has already concluded, which he has already finished. It's a finished drug that he has given to us. All we have to do is to continue to apply it, take the drug, take the drug, until we receive healing in every aspect of life that we are trusting him for. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was with the people. He had been ministering to them for some time. And he received them unto himself and spoke unto them about the kingdom of God and healed them that had need of healing. Verse 12 says, And when the day began to wear away, 
Then came the twelve, that is his disciples, and said, and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about, and lodge and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all these people. So this morning, I'm going to title the message on this healing altar, Supernatural Provisions. Supernatural Provisions. In this hour, the way things are on earth, a lot of people are going through a lot of hardship. And I know that for sure because of the state of our nation presently, at least my nation, Nigeria. There's a lot of hardship presently going on. People don't even know where the next meal is going to come from. I mean, if, if I have to judge by the sort of messages that come into the inbox, into WhatsApp, there are some days, even me, myself, I'm always afraid to open my messages because I'm like, <laughs> how many people can one help? How many people can one reach out to? Except the God of heaven. Touch it down and begin to touch life supernaturally at this hour. Then I don't know how people are going to survive with the state of things and the way things are going on in our nation. But we serve a God that understands the situation of men and is ready to intervene at any time. So this morning, I want to encourage anyone under the sound of my voice that no matter what is happening, especially with our economy right here in Nigeria or in other nations of the world, all this economic depression is globally, but at different levels. So this morning on this healing altar, I want to remind us that our God is a supernatural God. <laughs> it does not depend on the economy of nations to meet our needs. Once we can believe, once we have faith concerning him, knowing that we are always in his presence, knowing that we are always trusting him, knowing that we are always waiting on him, knowing that we are always following him and listening to him. Because in these scriptures it says, and the people, when they knew it, followed him. So who are you following? If you are following Jesus, be rest assured that you cannot be stranded in life. No, it is impossible. No, it is impossible. It is absolutely impossible. God is telling me to tell somebody this morning that if you are following Jesus, it is absolutely impossible for you to be stranded. Forget the situation that you are in presently. Forget what you are going through presently. But we serve a God and his name is Jesus Christ and he is a supernatural God. When you follow him, he will meet you at the point of your needs and you will not be stranded. It is impossible for you to be stranded. He says, and they, and they followed him and he received them and speak unto them of the kingdom of God, and heal them that had need of healing. Then, then this, did he say in his word, that seek ye first the kingdom of God, just follow him, and be seeking the kingdom. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. So when you seek him, that is our responsibility. That is the commandment that he has, you know, given to us. When you follow Jesus, then the things that will begin to follow you, the things that will be added to your life are his own responsibility, not our own. You just fulfill your own part. First and foremost, you come to Jesus. You accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Then you follow him. Follow him through his word. Submit yourself to the leading of the Holy Spirit to guide you to know him daily, to have a fellowship with him, to be in the place of intimacy with him. Follow him. And he said, and he speak unto them about the kingdom. 
following Jesus Christ is about the kingdom of God. It's always talking about that there's no way, because it's the way, the truth, and the life. There's no way to the Father except through Christ. He's the one that has been given to us. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, shall not perish, and shall have eternal life. So knowing Jesus, accepting Jesus, following Jesus is the way to eternal life. And when you follow that path, it is impossible. I can assure you it is impossible for you to be stranded. Listen, it's not saying you will not have, will not have challenges. He said, in this world, ye shall have tribulations, but he said, be of good share. I have already overcome the world. We are already overcomer. That is the spirit that he has given to us, the overcoming spirit. That, listen, in this broken world, tribulations will come, trials will come, but be rest assured that as far as you follow me, as far as you are with me and you are moving with me, you will overcome any situation, any tribulation, any issue that the enemy might bring against your life. So this morning, I'm praying for somebody under the sound of my voice. What is, what is it that is limiting you? What, what, what provisions are you trusting God for? And you have been following him. I am releasing the word of God from this altar this morning. That God will take care of it all in the name of Jesus. Listen. And he said, he healed them that had need of healing. He healed all of them. You know, speaking to them about the kingdom. Then he healed them. He healed them. He made sure that he met them all at the point of their need. He did not leave anyone stranded. He did not leave anyone stranded in any way. So what need do you have? What area of healing are you believing God for? Is it in your physical body? The Bible says all the people that follow him and were listening to the teaching of the kingdom. They all receive healing. So for as many that are under the sound of my voice this morning, you are not listening to me. You are listening to the word of God. That God is speaking through me. So whatsoever you are in need of, I'm praying that in the name of Jesus, God will touch you this morning and heal you in those areas of your life. Either your physical body, any part of your body that you are trusting God for healing he is our healer. The Bible says by strife we are healed. We are already healed. We are healed. He has already done that for us but the reason of his wounded and broken body so this morning i am praying for somebody under the sound of my voice any area of your life that you are trusting god for healing receive it right now in the name of jesus receive healing in your bones <laughs> receive healing in your blood receive healing in your tissue the tissues of your body receive healing in your nerves receive healing in your cells receive healing in the organs of your body your heart, your kidney, your liver. Receive healing in your brain. If you have any brain issue, receive healing. Receive healing in your bowels, in your stomach, every area of your body, your breast, any area that you need healing this morning. I'm asking that the hand of God will reach down and touch you this morning in the name of Jesus. This is an it touch me healing meeting. God is going to touch somebody in a supernatural way. And any other way that is not physical. Are you trusting God for supernatural provisions? You need help financially. You need help, you know, to pay off your bills. You need help, you know, for him to meet you concerning your career, your business, business ventures, your education, you know. Whatsoever it is that you are trusting God for this morning. The scripture is telling us right here that he gave everybody healing. It is a perfect thing that Christ has done. So I'm praying for this, for somebody under the sound of my voice this morning. Every area, every area, every area of your life that you are trusting God for healing. Because we are, we are before him this morning. I am praying. 
That's what we touched down.